hey this is deepak here and welcome to the next lesson in your 100 day blogging course in today's lesson we are going to have a look at how to set up a cloudflare account and configure the dns settings for your domain name so in this video i am going to set up cloudflare account for my domain bikerboy.in and this is the domain that i am going to use for this particular project so this is one of the projects that i am going to show you in the 100 day blogging course which is a motorcycle blog we are also planning to start travel blogs and technology blogs uh, and this will be done with the help of my team so that you can have multiple case studies on how to grow a blog in different niches so one of the reasons that i am choosing bikerboy.in is because bikerboy.in is a newly registered domain name and i want to show you how to build a blog on a newly registered domain name so here you can see that the registration date for bikerboy.in is just may 5 may 14th which is just around 1 month back i also have bikerboy.com but bikerboy.com is a very well established old domain name and this i had acquired as a premium domain name so this was registered in 1999 one more thing that i would recommend that you do when you finalize your domain name is that go ahead and check the domain name at moz open site explorer Moz Open Site Explorer shows you what is the domain authority, page authority, and most importantly, the spam score. So, if you are acquiring a domain name or if you are registering a domain name, then make sure that the spam score is nil. Sometimes, what happens is that there might be a nice domain name available, but it could have had a website before, and it might have had a lot of spam and spammy backlinks. Then, it's not a very good idea to build a website on such a domain name. So right now we can see that bikerboy.com does not have any backlinks it does not have any authority so far but still I don't want you to think that I am going to build a blog on an established old domain name because some people say that if you build a website on a very established domain name then it will have more weightage so that's the reason that I have registered bikerboy.in so even though in the domain names lesson I have recommended that .com is always the best choice So here I am going to build the blog on .in because of the reasons that I just mentioned. And another experiment that I am planning to try is that I will probably try to migrate the entire blog from bikerboy.in to bikerboy.com without getting the SEO affected. So I am just going to experiment with it and see how the results are going to be. So now we will go ahead and create a Cloudflare account for this domain name bikerboy.in. and one more thing that i recommend doing is that whenever you are creating a new website or a new blog go ahead and create a separate gmail account or a google account for it because there are so many services associated with google such as analytics gmail adwords google tag manager and things like that so for every website project have a separate google account so that you can have a consolidated you know a record of all the different assets and properties online properties So this is the uh, email ID that I have created just now. This is bikerboy.in at gmail.com. Now let's go ahead and create a Cloudflare account. So all I would do is that go ahead and click on sign up. So Cloudflare is almost like a premium DNS, and they even give caching facilities. And the best part is that Cloudflare is free. Now that I have created an account and logged in, it will first ask me to add a website and go ahead and scan the DNS records. So here the website URL is bikerboy.in. So right now there is no other website existing in this particular domain, but Cloudflare will go ahead and scan it anyway. So it will scan for a minute and If you are having an existing website at a particular domain name and if you are shifting to Cloudflare then it is important to retain all the domain name configuration when it is being shifted to Cloudflare but here we need not worry because we are creating this particular DNS records for the first time so whatever it scans and fetches it it doesn't matter right now we also seem to have got a new email so here you can see a welcome email from Cloudflare So once it has scanned the entire records then it will ask you to go ahead and add DNS records. 
so right now we will not add any dns record so here you can see this is the ip address to which we have to point it to so you can see that this is called a a record and if you want to add a new a record this is how you add it so this is something that we will come back and do it later because right now as of now we have not created a hosting account and since we have not created a hosting account we do not have an ip address to which we can point to so right now this is uh, some random ip address it is pointing to i don't know what it is so i will go ahead and delete it we will come back and set this up once the hosting account is ready and i will create a separate video for that as well however something else that we can do is that we can go ahead and add mx records so mx records is basically called mail exchange records and if you go ahead and search for mx records of google g suite where if you want to have email id such as your name at your domain name.com there are multiple email service providers custom email service providers and google suite or g suite is one one of them g suite was called google apps before so now we will go ahead and fetch the mx records for the google apps or g suite email servers so here i have basically searched for g suite mx records and here i would be able to see these are the values that i have to add inside my domain name dns records so let me go ahead and add this one by one here i can leave the name blank because here it clearly says that the name host or alias can be given as blank time to live is 3600 seconds priority 1 and this is the server name so here i would go ahead and give 3600 seconds so 3600 seconds is basically 3600 divided by 60 is 60 minutes so that's basically 1 hour so i would go ahead and set it as 1 hour and this is priority 1 and aspmx.l.google.com so now i will go ahead and click on add record so here if it doesn't accept blank you can just put an at symbol and click on add record so here we have got one entry now we can go ahead and add other entries as well so here you can see i have added three entries so this is the first entry and these are the second and third entries this has a priority of 5 and this has a priority of 1 so it basically means that whenever there is a mail being handled then it will be handled by this server this if this server fails then it will be handled by this server so alt 1 is basically alternative 1 and if this server fails then it will be handled by this server so usually it will the mails will work even if you just give one server so this is just for redundancy so google has given five different mail servers and this is the priority order that you have to add these mail servers so instead of adding all the five i have just added the three different mail servers and that would be more than enough so mx records is what we have added now and a record is something that we will add later so now i would go ahead and click on continue so plan is going to be free website click on continue again now cloudflare will give you name servers which you have to go ahead and add it to your domain name settings so here you can see these are the two different name servers that i have to add to my domain name so i would just go ahead and copy paste this and add it inside my domain name so since i am using name.com i am inside my name.com login area so here i will go ahead and click on name servers i would delete the existing name servers and then i would add the cloudflare name servers so i have added both the cloudflare name servers now i would go ahead and click on apply changes and once the changes are saved that's all you need to do to change the name servers in your domain name so if you are using a different domain name registrar such as godaddy or any other domain name registrar you will be able to find an interface like this where you can go ahead and update the name servers and once you update the cloudflare name servers then your job with the domain name is done everything else can be done inside cloudflare even if you are changing the server then the server ip address changes then you will change the a record inside cloudflare So if you are having your domain name along with a hosting only company such as Bluehost or HostGator 
then there might not be an interface where you can go ahead and edit the name servers easily because since they have given it as a package deal they might just have hostgator's name servers inside the domain name if you have the domain name at hostgator or if you have it at bluehost then they might just stick the domain name with bluehost name servers so in such cases i would recommend that you move the domain name out using domain name portability and get it to name.com or you know namecheap.com these are the two major uh, domain registrars that i use frequently you can use that or you can go ahead and uh, mail to support at uh, hostgator or bluehost and ask them to update with the cloudflare name servers so coming back to cloudflare.com now now i would go ahead and click on continue so it will take some time for the name servers to get updated so it says that i have to come back and check after some time to see if the name servers have been configured correctly so one more thing i can do to go ahead and find out if the name servers has been configured directly is go to into dns.com so if i go to into dns.com and enter the domain name bikerboy.in here you will be able to see if the name servers have been updated properly so here you can see these are the cloudflare name servers so now the domain name has been updated let's check if cloudflare has detected it sometimes it takes some time to detect whether the name servers have been updated which is fine so yes so you can see that now the name servers has been updated and it says the status is active now the next uh, action step would be to go ahead and create a hosting account get the ip address of the server and once we have the ip address of the server we will go back to the dns settings and here we will create an a record which points to the particular server another option instead of using cloudflare is that you can use an amazon service called route 53 So route 53 actually costs money but it's very less it's around 50 cents per domain for digital deepak i use amazon route 53 inside amazon route 53 also you will get settings like this where you would be able to add mx records here records and all the other type of domain records so if you have any questions about this lesson go ahead and leave a comment below and the action steps for this lesson is that you have to go ahead and create a cloudflare account with your domain name In the next video we will have a look at how to create a hosting account and then we will get our blog up and running.